Dude, I don't know what to tell you. The movie wasn't that good. Yes, it was, man. Like, Sawburn will stand the test of time as one of the most well-produced, thought-provoking films in history. He sucked cum out of a bathtub drain. How is that thought-provoking? Literally, think about what you just said. Like, that's thought-provoking and thought-provoking. What? You, you just said the same thing twice. No, 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 no. Think about it. Okay, thought-provoking. And T H O T thought provoking. He sucked cum out of the bathtub drain. That's like that. that literally, that's like a fucking like double entendre and metaphor all in one. But a metaphor for what exactly? I I mean, I, well, like I'm not exactly sure. Like, but it was like think about it, like you you know I can't I can't talk to you about this anymore. Like you just don't get movies. Like they're underlining. T- you just, you just hung up on me. Wait, what's happening? I have no service. That's strange. No service or Wi-Fi. I wonder what's going on. Whatever. I'm, I'm sure it'll get fixed soon. And now, the end is near. And so I face Hmm. They had way more of these than I expected. I really hope no one saw. We saw you take our pills, idiot. You weren't even trying to be sneaky. You slammed the door on your way out of the house. Yeah, but to be fair, I didn't actually think anyone was home. Shithead, shut the fuck up. You were smart. You listened to her. You haven't eaten in days. Uh, okay, Kato. My name is Huck. No, I said Kato because you're her sidekick. But my name is Huck. I get that your name is Huck. Uh, Kato is from the Green Hornet, which is a homage to the Pink Panther. Pink Panther? It's the Steve Martin movie. Who's Steve Martin? You serious? Green Green Panther? Huck, shut the fuck up. I understand the reference. Okay, you might be wondering what's happening right now. I'll explain. Those people are known as the pirates, but to be exact, they just call themselves that. It's sort of like a self coin nickname. Super lame. I get it. Everyone gets it. It's hilarious. But they do torture and eat people. So, I mean, there's only so much you can make fun of. Um, but basically, they go around and they steal as many of these pills as they can find, and they sell them back to the public. These pills, which I stole from them, are used to combat a new deadly virus that makes you shit your intestines out and bleed out of every hole in your body. When I say every hole, I really do mean every hole. It's brutal. My plan was to return them back to the public, but most likely I'll just sell them back at a few price points lower than they would charge. But hey, there's no judgment in the apocalypse. Back to the scene. Who are you talking to? What? Oh. No, no one. Don't worry about it. It'd be in your best interest to return what you've stolen. Our primary buyers don't like when our supply is low. That sounds like a you problem, though, right? Well, if it's a problem for us, it, it, it's a problem for you. Okay. Have you ever heard of a lovely community of people known as the residentials? Wait. The residentials? Why does that sound so familiar? Oh, shit. I know who those people are. You actually sell them? They hunt people and pit them against each other in the most sadistic ways, just so they can bet on who lives. Alright, just because they're bad people doesn't mean we don't have morals. But you bet on who lives. They get a choice just like everyone else. Haven't you ever heard of the Roe v. Wade case? Don't be such a bigot. Asshole, you told me to get that abortion last year! Our situation is different, though. Does this have anything really to do with me, or can I leave? No, you're coming with us. I'm tired of letting you wander around. I've actually spent quite some time in that casino. It's, it's quite satisfying, if, if you're a viewer. Well, it seems like I made a mistake, and if I've learned one thing in this world, it's that I need to be more responsible and take accountability for my actions. How has he made it this far into the apocalypse? Even in the old world, the the stupidest people could be the most successful if they had the amount of luck. 
Yeah, that's true. Remember Jojo Siwa? Yeah. <laughs> what a dumb fuck he was. Remember when he tried to redefine pop music and run for Secretary of State? Dude, Jojo Siwa was a woman. Uh, that's besides the point. All right, whatever. Let's grab him. You know, Huck, that was a pretty solid shot. Thanks, man. Your annoying ass face really brings it out of me. All right, we're here. Is everyone ready? Not particularly. Can we uh, take a quick moment to think about this? Is someone going to... What is your purpose for entry? It's the pirates. You guys seriously need to change that name. Change it to what? Uh, I don't know. Like, something more intimidating, maybe? Uh, something like Blackbeard's Brigade? Blackbeard died of syphilis, you insult fuck. You can't die from syphilis. It's just a common side effect of sex, right? Um, gross. And yes, you definitely can. Yeah, I knew that. I knew that, too. But I've had sex before. But, like... Everyone, shut up! We caught a stray who tried to mess with our supply. We thought we could drop him off here along with your shipment. Bring him in. Hey man, you really don't have to do this. These freaks call themselves the pirates, right? Like who does that? It's a stupid name, right? Well, it looks like your luck ran out. Okay, take it easy, guy. We live in the apocalypse. No one here is that lucky. Bro, speak for yourself, dude. At least I have syphilis. You understand, it's not like a good thing, right? So it appears your shipment came with a surprise inside. I feel like a kid who just found the galactic ring inside his cereal box. Giddy as can be. Oh, Jesus Christ, who the hell talks like that? Think of it as an offering from a sign of respect from us to you. Oh my, your generosity is much obliged. Seriously, dude? Come on. Um, sir, I just, I'd like to say that we look up to you so much. Shut up, Huck. It's implied. Now, let me feast my eyes on this new specimen. Of course, sir. You're like, you're like the coolest ever. Oh my god. Henry? River, what's up, dude? I'm so excited to see you. This is so crazy. How long has it been? Wait, you know this guy? Well, I think about a year ago when we tricked those cannibals into eating impossible meat. What the fuck? Oh, yeah. How did that prank end? I'm totally blanking. One of them really took it the wrong way and bit a chunk out of my leg. I yelled for you, but you were already running. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now I, now I remember. I'm sorry about that. No sweat, man. They were the ones who actually brought me here and traded me to the residentials for some real meat. But as time went on, I fit right in with them, and they uh, turned me into a viewer. No kidding. Best part is, they put me in this mansion. What the hell is happening right now? I think, I think they're friends. How is that even possible? I, I don't know, but fuck, he's the luckiest man in the world. <laughs> what, what, what was up with your voice before that you were doing? Uh, why, how did it change like that? I honestly just do it sometimes for fun at this point. I'm living in the mansion. Kind of boring. It does kind of sound fun. So what do we do now? You want a tour? Uh, well, thanks for uh, reuniting me with a long lost friend. I'll uh, catch you guys later. What about him messing with our supply? What are you going to do with him? Oh, Kara. Stop holding grudges, it's a fool's game. Next shipment is expected same time next week. Don't be late! Uh, now first things first. Let's head to the game come on, room. Come on. I'm gonna kill him one day. You might be king, you might be And finally, we are brought to the kitchen, my favorite room in the house. Wow, Henry. I gotta say, this house is amazing. Thank you. It really is something, isn't it? Yeah, man. When I was brought here by those idiots, I thought I was going to get killed. No, 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 no. We would never do that. Wow. I knew that couldn't be real. It's just that I've heard through the grapevine that this place is pretty fucked up. 
sadistic even. It's funny, someone once told me you guys hunt and capture people and then force them to snort crocodile until one of them overdoses while you all bet on it or something like that. Uh, I don't think that's crazy. It's kind of exactly what we do. Wait, what? I said that isn't crazy. We do that. We actually have a whole casino full of games equally as amazing. You can't be serious though, right? Very serious, friend. There's Crocodile Craps, which you already know. Eyes on the Prize Roulette, where every player only has two bets. And you guessed it, it's their eyes. Now, there are plenty of games, honestly. You gotta come tonight. Dude, what the fuck? That's insane. I'm not going to watch that. That's awful. Oh, well, you're not gonna be watching it, man. What do you mean? You're playing. No, I'm not doing that. Um, I thought you said you weren't gonna kill me, though. Exactly. I'm not going to kill you. You have to gamble on your own odds, you see. But if I choose to not play? Well, then I'll kill you. But why are we doing this? I thought we were friends. Chop, chop, buddy. Fifteen minutes, we got to be at the casino. God damn it. Welcome to the casino. You're, you're doing it again. Like, what is that? That's fucked up. This place is fucked up. That accent's fucked up. Why? What is this? What is this? I don't understand why this is a good place. Nonsense! You just haven't submersed yourself fully into Okay, it. stop. No accent. Alright, alright. Just give it a shot, trust me. You're gonna love it, man. Welcome to Eisen Prize Roulette. Where you have two bets, the left and the right. Henry, who do we have here? It's my buddy River. Uh, it's his first time here, and he's dying to play. Um, actually, I'd rather not participate. I'm more of, I'm, I'm not really much of a gambler. Well, now's as good a time as any to learn. Wouldn't you agree? I mean, are you making me? We're making you. The game is roulette. Now, you can hear place a bet on the color or a number or combination of the Twix while well, I drop the ball and it spins around such as like a little ballerina on payday come around. I don't fucking care which one you pick but pick one of them. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. Alright. I understand what roulette is. I knew because I've been to Vegas a couple of times before. Relax. <laughs> like Jesus Christ. Seriously. Just chill out. It's gambling. Are you making a bet, or am I going to have to kill you? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I, I got it. I got it. Um, I'm putting it all on red. Black. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oof. That's why we give you two bets, buddy. <laughs> Uh, but first, they're going to need that first eye. Now, sit good and still. I've been getting pretty good at this. Wait, 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 wait. I can't I can't do that. I can't survive the apocalypse without depth perception. Well, you should have bet on black then, kiddo. But what about double or nothing, right? Like, that's a thing here. Well, you only have one eye left to give. What would we get extra if you lose? Huh. What about his balls? And what are you... What? His balls. They're technically balls, too. And I'd say it's uh, quite a bit more painful as well. One eyeball and a pair of nuts. That'll play. I, I'd really rather not do this. Sir, please do not touch the table. What about one ball? I'll just be the Lance Armstrong of Blackjack. No, you idiot. We're playing roulette. Fine, then I'll be the Lance Armstrong of that. Michael Phelps is honestly the Lance Armstrong of running. Um, no, he wasn't. Lance Armstrong was the swimmer, the strongest swimmer. Everybody knows that. He won an Olympic medal. I believe it was gold. Neither of them were runners. They were swimmers. I know he had one nut, but he didn't cycle. You're stalling. He doped, is what he did. Yeah, but Sir, I did. I know. and he almost got away with it. Please do he not touch the table. All bets have been placed. <sighs> Thanks a lot, dick. Player bets red. Who the hell are you? You interrupted 
this gentleman the bat? Fuck this place. It's like Reno and Las Vegas had a baby and they put it up for adoption because they couldn't deal with its evil aura. That's exactly what I said. Well, yeah, well, uh, you have to get out of here. You will die if you stay. Yeah, they're very nice here. Service is terrible, too. Silence! Residentials! Please, them! Yeah, uh, let's get the fuck out of here. Agreed. Uh, yeah, that was pretty fucking crazy, huh? Yeah, those people were insane. Par for the course these days. I'm Nick, by the way. I'm River. Cooper, it's nice to meet you. Why are our voices the same? They're not. So, you want to join our group? Sure. Why not? What could go wrong? Credit sequence.